Hi everyone and welcome back to another card making video and this is also part of a blog hop as we celebrate the latest release by Simon Says Stamp. I'm going to share two cards using many of the products from the new release so that you can see them in action. And keep in mind there are many giveaways so make sure to visit my blog for all the info. So I'm going to start with my first card perfect for the winter season and I'm combining this lovely snowy stencil along with a sentiment die that says snowy greetings. I'm going for a mini slimline card and I like to cut my paper to be six and a half by six and a half. So when I fold it in half, I will end up with three and a quarter by six and a half mini slimline card. So I scored there at three and a quarter. I'm making sure that I have a nice fold and my mini slimline card is ready. Now let's work on a panel. These dies are perfect for mini slimline card panels and this is a die set from a previous release by Simon Says Stamp, but you can definitely cut out your own panel if you don't have this set. I just find it super handy since I don't have to measure. Anyway, I'm using the panel that I cut out and I'm securing it at the back of my stencil with some masking tape and then I will just do my inking. For the inking, I decided to go with uh, Distress Oxides. These are my favorite when it comes to blending with brushes because they go smoothly together, they blend lovely and they never leave splodges. I am blending together two shades of blue, that's Tumbled Glass and Mermaid Lagoon, but you can use any color combo really to recreate this uh, idea. I think that it would definitely look beautiful with purples and pinks as well. And if you want to create a similar panel in no time, just use your sprays. It's a lovely design, really easy to put together and now it's time to add the sentiment. Now for the outline, I was debating whether I want to use that black outline, but I decided that that was uh, too bold for my design. I wanted something softer, that's why I decided to go with vellum. I'm using my Burly Art glue at the back of my die cut words and it has a very fine tip, so it's making my life really easy. Then I'm going to add some foam tape at the back of my stenciled panel and then stick it on top of my mini slimline card. And then of course I need to stick the sentiment. Now I decided to go with glue at the back so this is going to lay flat on top but I do have dimension since I have foam tape at the back of my stenciled panel. I am making sure that I hide the glue behind the letters and if you want to have uh, dimension on this sentiment, uh, just keep in mind that if you add foam tape at the back, it's going to show through the vellum. So the easiest way and the clever way to go with uh, a sentiment like that is to die cut those words again and again, stack them together one on top of the other and then put them at the back instead of a foam tape. They are going to hide exactly behind the main sentiment. And you can see here how I struggle sometimes with uh, sentiment placement. I just couldn't decide whether I want this card to be a portrait or a landscape one. Anyway, I'm finishing off my card by adding a few pearls at the center of some snowflakes, but I'm also going to scatter a few here and there. And here are some close-up photos on the first card for today. Clean and simple, really easy to put together, and the result is so pretty. Now let's make another card, this time I'm going for a Valentine's Day card and I'm combining the piece of my heart die set, lovely two pieces of puzzles that put together a heart and I'm also going to combine that 3D embossing folder that gives a beautiful result. So I'm going to start by die cutting those puzzle pieces. I'm using uh, cardstock, red cardstock for those. And uh, then I'm going to create my card base. For my card base today, I'm going to do something fun. This is going to be a gatefold card. So cut out your letter-sized panel in half. And I'm going to bring in my scoring board to do the fold. And since I'm going for a gatefold card, instead of scoring that panel in half, at four and a quarter, as we would normally do, I'm going to fold at two and one quarter from one side, rotate and fold again at two and one quarter. Fold the flaps and reinforce that scoring line with your bone folder and you end up with a gatefold card. I'm going to do something fun with that and I'm going to create a heart locking mechanism that will keep those flaps 
close together. So let's start by decorating first the flaps. For that I'm using craft cardstock and uh, I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine using the 3D embossing folder. The result is absolutely gorgeous and I'm going to cut out two panels that will fit on top of my front flaps. I will use glue at the back to stick those panels on top of my flaps to decorate them and if you notice carefully you will see that they are slightly smaller than the flaps, about an eighth of an inch smaller from each side just to let a little bit of a border showing through. And as you see me decorating the flaps it's a great time to hit the like button if you do enjoy my videos don't forget to do that it really helps and it's a great support for any youtuber now if you like you can leave those panels as they are but if you want to bring that design even more to life you can use white ink and just swipe the ink pad over the design if you're not brave enough you can use a blending brush or even your finger I'm going directly with the ink pad, I'm lightly swiping over the design, I'm not pressing too hard otherwise I will not only touch the tips of the mountains. So here is how it brings that to life, it's not going to stay as bright white as it is at the moment, it's going to blend out a little bit but still it's going to make a big difference. And now the idea was to stick those two pieces of card, one on each flap, so when you close the card they come together. You can do that right now or if you are like me and you can go crazy with details, you can do that extra step if you like. I'm just going to align one of the hearts on the outside making sure that it's only going to cut that tiny curve so the other heart will fit inside. I'm going to secure that with some masking tape, run it through my die cutting machine only a bit, I'm not going to run it all through the card so that I don't flatten up what I have already done and of course course if I was uh, thinking ahead I could have done that before embossing of course. And now I will repeat the same process on the other flap, again you don't have to do that for those hearts to lock together, I just go crazy with details sometimes and I just wanted to have that same design on my flaps as well. I wanted to pop those uh, puzzle pieces so I'm using foam squares at the back and then I'm going to stick them in place making sure that I align them correctly. I'm absolutely happy with how this came together. I love this card, I think this is the one that I'm giving to my husband for Valentine's Day and I think that the perfect message to write inside for a card like this is you complete me since those two hearts come together so beautifully. I just went ahead and stamped XOXO with that uh, white ink on one side without adding a big sentiment here and uh, I did embellish it a bit with a few pearls. Links to everything I used can be found down below just like always. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired and I wish you all a lovely weekend.